You may or may not have followed my previous course on Next.js with ChatCN. And remember, I created this very nice component called user item, a library that you can find on NPM. Well, basically for now, this component is only available on React and Next.js. And this very nice component gives you the opportunity to handle here, if you want, your uh, avatar component with a loading state, with some elements in here. It's just the beginning, okay? I'm working on this library, but what I propose you to do is to recreate almost the same here, the same component down here on our dashboard. Okay, let's go here. I'm going to go to the components and I'm going to create a new user item dot view component and I'm going to initiate this user item dot view. So if I come back to the sidebar, remember it's at the bottom here, I'm supposed to have the sidebar so I can call my user item in here. And if we come back, we are good. So I got my hello user item on the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to do it static. Uh, probably you would like to inject some props but to go faster, I'm going to do it static. It's going to be better. So the first thing here is going to be here, my first name. Then after that, I can put a description, which is YouTuber or CTO and YouTuber. There we go. So here I would like to add a text black and then a font bolt to start. So if I come back, I got something that looks like this in here. So probably here, I want to wrap it into a div because remember, I would like to have some kind of rounded, rounded full actually, uh, with 10, 8, 10, BG green 500, a round next to my element down here. Also, what I would like to do is to have some uh, padding and margin. So here the margin is going to be basically two and the padding is going to be basically four. So if I come back, I suddenly have this, which is really nice. I'm going to add a border, a rounded border here, and we've got this. So the padding, we see the padding is probably too much. I'm going to add a padding too, and we are good. I'm going to use flex, item center, justify center and a gap of two. And when I come back, I have something really nice down here. However, it's not a justify center. It's probably a justify start and we are good. So we see that we got some uh, padding in here. I'm going to remove the first padding of this element here or probably the leading one. So which means the line of the eight. And here is going to be also the M zero. Yeah, here I put MB zero, but it's actually M zero. There we go. And here I can put a text SM or text base and we should be good. The other thing is that inside my box, I would like to have my name here. So let's say that I would like to have a const ref here with a name, which is Guillaume Durand. And I'm going to just inject the name here, which you can transform as a prop later. For the description, it's going to be the same. I'm going to add a description, yes. And then here I'm going to type description is equal to ref and I'm going to pass here my CTO and YouTuber. There we go. So what I can do here is to use name zero and we should be good in here. We got the letter a little bit like Gmail does. So this is what I did on user item. I hope by the time you will watch this video, I will be able to turn it into a view component also. I need help to work on the library, so feel free to send me some pull requests. So I'm going to put flex, item center, justify center, font bolt, uh, text white directly. So I'm going to save that and suddenly we have the component that we have here. Let's say that we would have a cursor pointer and on over we would like a BG neutral 50 with a transition effect. And when we pass here, we see this nice transition effect. So we've got this nice component user item. 